Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahweh Kachodash, Yahweh, which is the one and true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and true name is Yahweh Shai. I would like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because those are the men. Who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazakah from the servants of Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to be uh, titled as Foreign Israelites. All right, the speckled birds, and uh, you know, I, I uploaded a video last night, you know, um, titled uh, Bruce Lee was an Israelite, because you got Israelites out there, they look like heathen nations, but they see line goes back to a so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, all right, you had Israelite men that popped heathen women and had kids with them, all right, so, you know, you got a lot of um, these Jakes that's outside of Great Millstone. They teach that Israelites are only Negro descent or they teach that your mom and dad have to be an Israelite for you to be a, a, a full-blooded Israelite, which is totally going off. All right, because I'll give some examples right now to them guys that teach that your mom and dad both have to be Israelites for you to be an Israelite. What about... Father Abraham. Father Abraham had a kid with an Egyptian woman named Hagar and had Ishmael. All right. And when you go down the line, all right, you had um, Moses. All right. Moses, Moses' wife wasn't an Israelite. All right. Moses' wife was a Cushite. And she buried Moses, who? Gershom. When you look at King Solomon, he, he had... <coughs> King Solomon had a had a, a kid with an Ammonite, all right, and I think his name was Rehoboam, all right. So there's there's tons of prophets we can use. Joseph, all right, the son of Jacob, all right. He had kids with an Egyptian and had Ephraim and Manasseh. So all through the Bible, you had Israelite men that slept with heathen women and had kids with them. So you mean to tell me that they kids are not Israelites? Which is totally going off. Because according to Numbers 1 and 18, which I'm going to get out in a minute, it goes into that. Your nationality is determined by the sea line of your father. All right? That's the only way to be determined what your nationality is. It's through the sea line of your father. And so lock you for the rambling, but we're just going to do a quick hitter. And I'm going to use one person as an example, you know, who is... One of those foreigner Israelites, an Israelite, a Jake that, that don't look like an Israelite, all right? But he's an Israelite. That's why you can't judge on outward appearance. This is 1 Samuel 16 and 7. Lord one is less is edified. It says, But the Lord saith unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or the height of his stature. Right? Don't look at a person and say, Oh, you're a, you're a heathen. Or, Oh, you don't have, you know, you don't have... Um, you know, you don't have melanin in you, so you're a heathen, all right? Don't look on the height of the statue of an individual. Don't look at this, their skin color, the, the 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 eye color, the hair color. There's Jake's out there that got freckles. You got Israelites out there that got blonde hair and blue eyes, all right? You can't judge on the outward appearance. That's why we got to try the spirits because when you go to Jeremiah 17 and 4, the Lord discontinued us from our heritage. So we're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. You got Israelites out there that look like an Arab even, but they an Israelite. Going back to their father, who is a so-called Negro, Hispanic, or Native American Indian descent. So you can't go off of the outward appearance. All right, and you got these other Israelite groups out there that's teaching that Israelites only Negro descent. You're going off. All right. It says, because I have... I have refused him for the Lord see if not as men see if for men looketh on the outward appearance and that's what you see with these other groups you got these groups out here teaching go to the uh, Zionists and get your shot your blood test so you can get your E1 B1A madness 
And you got Jake's out there teaching that your mom and dad both have to be Israelites for you to be a full-blooded Israelite going off. And you got Jake's out there teaching that Israelites are only Negro descent, which is totally going off. Because you got Israelites with my family. I got, I got a cousin. <clears throat> I got a cousin. And his woman is an Edomite, but he's an Israelite. All right? And his kids, they 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 have olive olive toned skin and they got blonde hair. All right. So you got Israelites out there that that had kids with heathen women that popped heathen women and had kids with them. And it's going on right now. That doesn't mean that that child is not an Israelite. The child is determined by the seed line of their father. All right. It says, for the Lord seeth not as men see it. For men looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. Right. The spirit. All right. The Lord looketh on the spirit. So. You're not supposed to judge on the outward appearance because somebody doesn't look like an Israelite. You got to try their spirit because they could be an Israelite. We don't know. That's why you got to you gotta go by the spirit like the Lord commands us to do so. Second, Second Corinthians uh, 10 and 7, it says, do ye look on things after the outward appearance? See, so you're not supposed to do that. It says, if any man trusts to himself that he is Yahawashai's, let him of himself think this again. That as he is Yahawashai's, even so are we Yahawashai's. Right. So you can't you can't judge a particular individual on the color of their skin, their height, their eye color. That's why even for us, servants of Yahweh, why Yahawashai camp. When we go out to camp, we ask people what are their nationality. Just like Great Millstone does. They ask them what's their nationality. Now if they give you something way out, they say, you know, they they're um European. We don't automatically say they ain't Edomite because you got Israelites that's dwelling in Europe, in Europe, all right? You got Israelites dwelling in Africa. We don't call them a heathen because you got Israelites that's dwelling on the southern west coast of Africa and Africa in general. You got Israelites in China. You got Israelites in Japan. You got Israelites in Asia. You got Israelite, Israelites in Turk, Turk, Turkish, you know, empire. You got Israelites scattered everywhere, Rome. So we don't, we don't judge off of the outward appearance because they could be an Israelite. They could be an Israelite. All right, so we don't we don't judge on the outward appearance. All right, and if you a Jake that's doing that, you're gonna be destroyed because you're judging on the outward appearance, and you gotta go by the spirit. All right, this is Romans eight and sixteen. It says the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. That's why when we go to camp, we don't just look at the outward appearance. Elders and apostles, great millstone, always told us not to judge on the outward appearance because you don't know who's an Israelite, who isn't. All right, so you gotta you gotta go by the spirit. You know, we discontinue from our heritage, so we can't point out who's an Israelite and who isn't, like these other Israelite groups do. Oh, you're a heathen because you don't look like Israel. You got you got blonde hair, blue eyes. How you don't know that his dad could be black? You know, I had I had I mean not black, but a so-called Negro man. All right, I have friends. I had a friend named uh, um, I forgot his damn name. It was in high school. I think his name was uh, Alfredo or Alberto. All right. His 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 daddy was Hispanic, and his mama was white, so he had more features like his mom than he did his dad. All right, so when you would look at him, you think he's a white boy. He had blonde hair, blue eyes, all that, but he spoke fluent Spanish and he spoke English. So when we would see his parent, when we see his parents come to uh, you know, to him to his games and stuff, we would look at each other like, holy shit, his his dad is Hispanic and his his mom is white. But he's in Issachar because his daddy is, is a so-called Hispanic, which is the tribe of Issachar. So he was an Issachar. He just looked like a heathen because of his mom. So you can't judge off of that. That's why I say we can't, you can't judge off the outward appearance because you got Israelites that look like heathens, but they're not heathens. they Israelites, all right, through the seed line of a so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indian. You can't judge off the outward appearance, all right? Because my, for myself, I use myself as an example. My parents are not the same nationality, all right? My daddy is a, is a, is a, is a uh, Native American Indian. He's, he's Omaha Punka, all right? And my mom, she's, um, you know, she's, she's not even from the U.S. My mom is a foreigner. She's from Liberia, Africa. But through the spirit, you know, she calls on Yahweh Bashi Mashai. She does. She, she, she knows the name of the Lord. She calls upon the name of the Lord. And my mom, she could be an Israelite. You know, could be could be Gad, could be Judah, don't know. But my mom is a foreigner. She's from Liberia, Africa. So my parents are not the same nationality. All right. My my parents are two different nationalities. 
All right. So I'm using myself as an example because my daddy's a Native American Indian and my mom, she's like so-called Liberian African. But I don't, you know, through the spirit, I don't think she's a Hamite. All right. Because she calls upon the name of the Lord. She reads the Bible. You know, I got a, I got a parent that's in the truth. Now, my dad, he's not in the truth. All right. My dad, he's in a, he's he's in the nation of Islam. He's in that Muslim doctrine. But at the same time, my dad's a Native American Indian, though. He's just in the wrong uh, custom, you know. So you got Israelites out there, again, that look like heathens. And you can't judge on the outward appearance, all right? And that's how I use myself as an example. My, I have, my parents are two different nationalities. My mother is Liberian African, and my dad is a, is a Native American Indian. He's Omaha Punka. We're from the Punka tribe of Oklahoma, all right? So, you know, at the end of the day, you can't judge on the outward appearance. Romans 18, 6, Romans 8 and 16. It says, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Lord, right? So you got to go by the spirit. You can't go out of outward appearance, all right? Because if you look judging on the outward appearance, that make you carnal, all right? And you can't be using carnality in its truth. You got to be spiritual, all right? That's why we go by the spirit to, to try to try particular individuals to see if this if the spirit is going to be working with them or not all right and the majority of the time it, it don't all right but like the elders say we're fishing for the elect not every single hebrew Israelite is going to get it all right so you can't you can't judge on the outward appearance all right you can't be you can't be doing that and um so like it this is uh jeremiah <clears throat> except this is jeremiah 17 and 4 it says, and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. Right, the Lord discontinued us from our heritage, so we're scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, the Lord discontinued us from our heritage. Let me get out Deuteronomy, because I want to prove this out. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Mm -hmm. uh, not 68, 64, Salakia. Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 64. It says, And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Who the Lord scattered among all people? The Israelites. The twelve tribes of the nation of Israel are scattered abroad in the hands of these seventeen heathen nations. But the Lord, Yahweh who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, he's coming back to deliver the elect out of the hands of these 17 heathen nations. All right, the elect is going to be gathered, scattered abroad through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. All right, which is going into uh, Revelation 7 and 9, that great multitude, man. All right, it says from the one, it says from the from one end of the earth even onto the other. So the Israelites are scattered abroad from one end of the earth even onto the other. That's why we can't judge off the outward appearance because the Israelites are scattered everywhere. You got Israel, you got, you got, you got, you got Gadites, which are so-called Native American Indians in Africa. And the Apostle Tahar did a lesson on that years ago. So you can't judge on the outward appearance. It says, in there, it says, in there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So you got Israelites that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So you can't judge on the outward appearance. All right. And we're going to go to the New Testament. And we'll get out, uh, where's James at? James, um, one and one. It says, James, a servant of Yahweh and of the Lord, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting, right? So the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel are scattered from one end of the earth even onto the other. The Israelites are scattered. So you can't judge on the outward appearance. Now I'm going to give you an example of a, of a particular individual now this is blake griffin now if you look at blake griffin to the right is his dad and to the to the left is his mom blake griffin is an israelite now if you look at blake griffin he doesn't look like an israelite but he's an israelite all right when you when you look at blake griffin you don't you don't think he's an israelite but he's an israelite his daddy's a haitian so according to the bible he's of the tribe of levi so this is why you can't judge on the outward appearance. Now, when you go to Blake Griffin, see, when you go look at Blake Griffin and you look to the to the left, that's his dad. You look to the right, that's his mom. So when you look at Blake Griffin, you you wouldn't think he's an Israelite, 
but he's an Israelite due to the seed line of his father, which I'm going to get out right now because your nationality is determined by the seed line of your father. That's how you that's how you determine your nationality. Not no shots, you know, getting blood test drawings, going to Ancestry.com. That's all Zionists own. That's owned by the elites. So they're going to tell you that you are all these different nationalities. They're not going to give you the truth. They're going to bug your ass out telling you you mix with all these different nationalities, and that's not true. You are what your father is, all right? I'm going to go back to that in a minute. Go to Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18, all right? It says, and they assemble all the congregation together on the first day, on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees. It says after their families by the houses of their fathers. And when you ever have a chance, you could just look it up. And I pedigrees mean when you go to numbers 1 and 18 it says and they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house by the house of their fathers so your nationality is determined by the sea line of your father not your mother all right your nationality is determined by the sea line of your father so it doesn't matter what your mom look like your mom could be a, could be a so-called white person. She can be an Asian person, a Chinese person, a black person, a, a so-called Negro person, a Hispanic, Native American. It don't matter. Whatever your nationality, your mom. She can be Belizean. She can be any so-called ethnicity or race out there. If your father's a so-called Negro, Hispanic, or Native American Indian, and he pops any one of those women that I just named. You're still an Israelite because of your father. It don't matter what your mom is, all right? Because the man's sperm is what fertilizes a woman's egg. And that's what determines the nationality of, of that particular individual. Your, whoever your father is, that's what you are according to the Bible. My daddy is a Native American Indian. He's Omaha Punka, so I'm Native American. There is no half so-called African, half Native. There ain't no such thing as that. If my daddy's a Native American Indian, I'm a Native American Indian, a Gadite. That's what you guys got to say, a Gadite, according to the scriptures. I'm a Gadite because my daddy is a, is a, is a Gadite, which is titled as a so-called Native American Indian. So that's what I am, according to the scriptures. I'm not half Native, half, half African. That's Esau way. That's philosophy. All right? So you can't, you can't judge on the outward appearance. All right? And I was going to show you another uh, particular individual. And uh, we're going to put in Blake Griffin's son, all right? Because Blake Griffin's son look whiter than Eminem, all right? But his son is an Israelite, all right? <clears throat> so when you look at Blake Griffin's son, look at Blake Griffin's son, all right? This is Blake Griffin's son right here. I'll show you. I'm going to get him a picture of him as a baby. See, here's Blake Griffin's son right here. You see that? This is Blake Griffin's son. His son don't look like an Israelite, don't he? His son got blonde hair and blue eyes. But that don't mean that his son is not an Israelite. His son is an Israelite. Because you just see in a picture of his dad. His dad is a Haitian. Blake Griffin is a Haitian. And his son is a Haitian. So you can't judge on outward appearance. Now, if you've seen him, you think his son is, is an Edomite. But his son is not an Edomite. His son look whiter than Eminem. His son got blonde hair. Does that mean his son's not an Israelite? No, he's an Israelite. Because his daddy's an Israelite. All right, the C line goes all the way back to the man. It goes back to the man. All right. So Blake Griffin is an Israelite, and his daddy's an Israelite. His son is an Israelite. See, look at Blake Griffin's son. He got blonde hair. You mean tell me that his son is not an Israelite? That's why you, you other guys out there, y'all can't judge off the outward appearance 
saying who's an Israelite and who isn't. You got to go by the spirit because you got Israelites out here that look like that look like Blake Griffin's son, but they but they see line goes back to the dad, goes back to the father. See, he's Blake Griffin's son. Boom, that's Blake Griffin's son. Who's his dad? Blake Griffin. And then when you go to Blake Griffin's dad, which I'm gonna put in right now, you go to Blake Griffin's father. Boom, this is his father. So Blake Griffin's son, the one you see with blonde hair, blue eyes, goes back to Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin goes back to this man right here. There you go. It goes back to the sea line of their father, which is a so-called Haitian. All right? Because Blake Griffin daddy is a Haitian. All right? So Blake Griffin is an Israelite. That's why you can't judge on the outward appearance. So, hey, man, I'm in it there with that, man. I proved in the scriptures. You can't judge on the outward appearance. All right? You can't do that, man. You got to go by the spirit. All right, you can't judge on the outward appearance, man. All right, I'm gonna read that one more time too, Babaksha. This is Romans eight and sixteen. I'm gonna get this out one more time, cause you can't judge off the outward appearance. And if you're a Jake that's doing that, you don't have the spirit of the Lord in you. All right, Lord ain't dealing with you. Romans eight and sixteen. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. Right, so. You can't judge on the outward appearance, all right? You got to go by the spirit because the Israelites, we discontinue from our heritage and we're scattered abroad. You got, again, you got Israelites out there that look like heathens, but they not because their father goes back to a so-called Negro Spank named American Indian. I gave you a perfect example with Blake Griffin. So, hey, man, Lord willingness, that's is edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahuwah, Bahashim Yahashai, Bahashim Mohawah, Kachodash. Yahweh, which is the one and true name of Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, salutations, and hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Till the next time I say, Shalom. Uh -huh.